What follows is a DVD of an arthroscopic ankle arthrodesis. This is the best treatment for an osteoarthritic ankle that requires fusion, as the arthroscopic fusions allow faster fusion rates, higher fusion rates, with lower morbidity and complications. Fluid is introduced posturolaterally. One views with a 3.5mm uh, arthroscope and the soft tissues are removed from the tibiotalar surfaces initially as you can see with a 3.5mm gator resector. The ankle is distracted using a standard non-invasive ankle distractor system from Smith & Nephew. Initially an anterior compartment clearance is performed anterior tibial and tailor spurs are resected. Following this, the residual fibro cartilage is removed from the tailor dome, tibial plafond and medial and lateral gutters. A typical intraarticular pressure of fluid is in the order of 50 mm of mercury, rising sometimes to 80 mm of mercury. Overall operating time for this procedure is in the order of 40 to 45 minutes. Once all the articular surfaces are removed, including the subchondral bone, a fusion is achieved using two cannulated large fragment AO or ACE cannulated screws. As the video progresses, you can see that the cartilage and fibro cartilage has been carefully removed from the tibial plafon presently and the tailor dome beneath us. It's important to remove the fibro cartilage and then remove a thin layer of subchondral bone, taking the bone down to bleeding healthy subchondral bone to encourage subsequent fusion. carefully maintains the convexity of the tailored dome and concavity of the tibial plafond. White is the articular cartilage and fibro cartilage and the, li and the light yellow the subchondral bone. As the cartilage and fibro cartilage is removed, more and more space is made available for the operating surgeon and the procedure becomes more and more technically easy. Fusion rates for arthroscopically assisted arthrodeses are in the order of 95% plus at 6 to 8 weeks. Portals include a post-remedial for irrigation and anteromedial and anterolateral for instrumentation and viewing. There are also one or two small stab incisions uh, proximal to the uh, medial malleolus for the insertion of the cannulated screws. Overall, therefore, this operation is performed via three small scars. Most of the cartilage and fibre cartilage is now being removed. A burr is then introduced, which will remove the subchondral bone and cannulated screws applied across the joint. And finally, a compression arthrodesis is achieved. <laughs>